In this video, we bring you intermediate country swing moves. What's up, gang? Brian B. And Miss Megan. From Country Dance Online, we are bringing you some intermediate country swing dance moves. So we've done a beginner video on this last week and we're gonna bring you some intermediate moves, specifically the tabletop. So here's how the video is gonna work. We are gonna demo what we're gonna do twice, then we'll talk about leaders and followers footwork, and then we'll put it all together at the end. We'll dance it to music, and then I've got a couple of free things for you. So we are gonna dance the basic to a slide, to a leader's walk around, with a turn, if we do that again, basic, to a slide, to a leader's walk around, and a turn. Then we're gonna do the slide, to a follower's turn, to the leader's tabletop, and back. So we're gonna try to get through all of that for you in this video. So let's start off with some basic stuff. So we have our basic hold. The rhythm is just simply walking in time to the music. So we're gonna dance walk, 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 walk. Then we're gonna start with a rock step with a rock step and a walk, walk, right? Just to get some timing and some rhythm with our partner. From here, we're gonna dance a rotating basic. Rock step, I'm gonna flare my arms a little bit so I can pass Miss Megan, walk, walk. So if we did that again, we'd go rock, step, and I'm sliding past my partner. Yes, so footwork wise for the leaders, this is basic stuff. I'm gonna put myself in front. Miss Megan's gonna kind of shadow the followers footwork, then she's gonna come and do the followers footwork here. So we're gonna dance our rock step, then I'm gonna walk past my partner with my chest facing my partner, bring my feet pretty much together so I can see on the other side. If I did it again, I'd go rock, step, slide, past, and together. Now we're gonna switch spots. I'm gonna narrate Megan's footwork because we are doing this live during the shutdown of the coronavirus. So both of our mics are taken up, one with you guys YouTube and one with Facebook. So Miss Megan's gonna rock step, rock step. She's gonna walk facing me just a little bit and then she's gonna step back or together, whatever feels natural. She's gonna rock step, she's gonna face me and walk. So when we're doing the rotating basic, a good general rule is that we wanna keep some semblance of our partner in our what my good friend Jason Miklik would call circle of trust. So as we do this, we have rock, step, walk, walk, rock, step, walk, walk. Another good tip from a professional dancer perspective is that I never want to dead straighten my arms. So you'll see this a lot in country swing where you get this jerk and it's very preventable simply by keeping a little bit of a bend in my elbow. That way as we rock step, we can use that bounce, but the analogy that I use is that you wanna bungee jump with a bungee cord, not a rope. Imagine bungee jumping with a rope, huh, versus a bungee cord with a little bit of that bend in my elbows, cool? So that's our rotating basic. So we did one rotating basic. From here, we're gonna use the slide. This is super common in country swing. I'm gonna go rock step, and I'm gonna go left hand, right hand. So if I just stood nice and close to my partner and practice that, left hand goes over. If you have a cowboy hat leaders, I'm gonna go all the way over. So I'm creating this loop all the way over and down. This is gonna go all the way past your partner's head. And at this point, we're gonna slide down and we're gonna look to retract our elbows to that bungee cord position. So if I did it from this side, we'll do it both sides. We go rock, step, walk, walk. And I'm already retracting my elbow to get to my rock step. If I do it on the other side, we have rock, step, walk, walk, retract my elbow from my rock step. Cool, from here we wanna get to the walk around. So for the walk around, once we're in this, what we call handshake hold, put it there pal. Very good, good handshake Miss Megan. So I'm gonna rock step. Now from here I want my partner to keep walking, so I need to maintain that forward pressure for her or pull so she continues walking forward around the corner. Cool, before I do my leader's turn, we'll talk about that in just a second. But as we get to this from this side, then we'll do it the other side. We do our slide, we slide down. That's why it's important to connect this as quick as possible. Now leaders, I'm gonna rock step. Now with my right hand, I wanna make sure I'm leading her forward. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap myself into this hand. So this is the action of the leader. Footwork aside, I'm taking her this direction. Once she's headed that way, I'm gonna wrap myself into this position and pick up her back to walk around, right? So one more time. I'm gonna take this, lead her, and then immediately take this up to my shoulder, 
pick up our back so we can get to the walk around. So if we do this from the slide, rock, step, walk, walk, rock, step. Now from here, she starts to walk. I'm going to start to head this direction to provide myself some space to then go back, 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 and then forward. We're going to talk about that last step in a second. So let's pick it up from the slide. We'll go rock, step, walk, walk, rock, step, walk, two, three, four. Now, once we're in this position, let's talk about followers forward for just a second. The followers basic rule is you're going to go in the direction the leader sends you. So if he sends you in kind of a rotational direction, that's the path that you're going, which lets me slide into this. So leaders, that's my job. We'll do it from the slide. Rock step. There's our slide. My job is to start her in that path. Now from here, she's just going to walk around staying connected to this walk, 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 walk. Cool. Now to get out of this, my final walk, I'm going to start to step to my left side so that I can shoot through the turn. Cool. So we do that again from this side. We have a one, two, three, four, a five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. I'm starting to step towards this. If you notice, I've got a good frame here, which provides me some space for my final walk. And then at this point, I'm going to let Miss Megan trail me all the way around for the next walk. She's going to keep a hold of my back. Pay attention real quick. She's going to keep a hold of my back. I'm going to keep my arm present so we can get the hook on the other side. So let's do it all the way through, through the, from the uh, slide, all the way through the leader's walk around. Rock, step, walk, walk, rock, step, walk, two, three, four, five, six, and rock, step. Let's do it from the other side with the slide. We have a rock, step, walk, walk, rock, step, walk, two, three, four, five, six. She trails me all the way around. I pick this up. Let's make it look of a connection to my rock step. Since we're doing this live, let's take a quick section. If you guys are watching live and you have any questions, YouTube and or Facebook, please let me know. Is our audio good on both? We're good to go. Cool. Let's do it from the top and we'll talk a little bit about the exit. So the order is basic slide leaders or shadow walk around with leaders turn basic slide shadow walk around with the leaders turn deal here we go ready and a walk two three four the slide is up next rock step walk 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 leaders turn and rock step from here leaders on our rock step actually should we talk about the followers let's talk a little bit about the followers when the followers pick up from this handshake hold rock step followers are walking in a circle. Now from here, leaders, as I'm getting ready to walk through this turn, I want to make sure to deliver Megan, continue her path. So it's almost like I'm passing her as I flip around, right? So this connection on her back, right, is leading her around the corner. And at this point here, as I'm stepping that way, I'm leading her in the opposite direction. I'm stepping so I can sneak through and grab that connection. Now, once we've got this connection, leaders, don't worry about trying to fish for a normal handhold. If I leave my hand here, Miss Megan's going to slide down. She's going to catch a grip right at the bottom of that. Cool. From here, I can go rock, step, underarm, turn magically and for no extra cost, the hand gets switched. So let's do the whole thing two times through and then we'll try to get to the next move. So we dance our basic, the slide into the shadow walk around with the leader's turn. Ready and basic rock, step basic. That's our slide. Rock, step, walk, 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 walk. The leaders turn, underarm turn, and basic next. There's our slide. Shadow walk around and rock, step. There we go. Do we have any questions live, folks? That is a cool move. I love that leaders walk around. You'll see this on YouTube in different ways with different timings, and we're going to do this to music at the end. But the short answer is if we stay in basic time, and by basic time, I mean one step for every beat of music, everything will work out great. And this will work from medium to fast speed songs. That's what's great about country swing. It's available to everybody. You don't even have to have a cowboy hat. So next part, we're going to use the same basic and the slide, but we're going to get to a different move. We're going to do a basic. We're going to get to a slide, but from here, we're going to send our follower the opposite direction so we can go through so we can get to a tabletop to get out underarm turn the funny way and back we go cool beans so how the heck did we get there 
We're still using the basic in the slide. That's just our common brain dead move as the leader. We're going to use our rotating basic and our slide to get in. Now this gets important rock step. And we see a lot of people do this wrong. I want to take this hand and give my follower a little indication that she's headed this way. Why? Because that way I can pick up the other hand and comfortably get to this two hand hold. And if you notice pro tip, we have a little flare on the elbow. Why? We want a bungee jump with a bungee cord, not with a rope. Cool beans. So basic and slide. We get our basic. <clears throat> we do our slide. Rock step. I'm retracting my elbow from here. I want to take this up. So if you watch my hand, if I'm doing this well, when the follower's turning, she's going to go basically fingers to the sky. Leaders, I'm going to flip my hand and I'm going to get my fingers to go the direction she's going, right? So we took the footwork out of it. This hand goes up to where I can see my watch if it was on the right hand. I pick this hand up. Another good rule, followers, when the leader's picking your hand up, if you go fingers to the sky, that will work very well. So this is what we call baby steps. Let's get to this side, Ms. Megan, so everyone can see. So if we just look at the hands, I'm picking this up this way. Follower goes fingers to the sky. This goes over super easy. If we pick this up, handshake hold, then we end up with this twisted grip, which is never comfortable. And you see people do it all the time. Doesn't mean it's right, doesn't mean it's comfortable, and she sure as heck doesn't like it. So from the top, basic slide, followers underarm turn, which is gonna set us up to get ready for the tabletop. Basic, here's our slide. Create the window, send her under. Cool beans, so when we create this window, rock, step, this is happening to get Megan to follow through that window, walk, walk. Now from here, leaders, I'm gonna go a little bit to the camera. I'm gonna create a window for myself through here. So if you just wanna take this grip alone, handshake hold underneath, leader's hand on top, nothing more than let's just baby step our way through. Left hand goes up for me, and I put myself in what we call a hammer lock position. Yes, that's where I'm gonna go. So one more time, I go here, and I'm putting this in a hammer lock position, almost like a chicken wing up underneath my armpit. Now, if we did that with footwork, do we have the hands? We'll go handshake hold underneath, Leader's hand on top with the follower. We go rock, step, I walk forward, and I walk back. Now, let's do that from the top. Comfy? Here we go, from the top. Basic, slide, follower's turn, getting us ready for the tabletop. Ready, and rock, step, walk, walk, rock, step. There's our slide. I need to send her towards the camera. Rock, step, I walk through and back. Now, from here, I'm going to do this sideways to the camera so you can see. Leaders, this is behind my back. I'm actually going to hike this up-ish, up-ish, as far as your shoulders will go. Cool beans? Now, from here, no footwork first. I need to duck under, take this hand out to regrip. take both hands over. This is going to have footwork and timing. Don't worry. Now, we got to get back in the position. How do we get back in the position? We're going to get this way gonna get this way right we're gonna rock step walk walk into it rock step walk walk now from here leaders I'm stepping underneath leaving this up by my armpit I take it out to take it over the followers hand let's do that slow-mo we'll go fast to get there basic slide followers turn set it up and then we'll go slow to the end ready and basic there's our slide, walk, walk, slide it down, take her out, rock, step, and set it up. Now from here, leaders, I go walk, walk, right? I want to complete that. Now in a perfect world, I'll get this grip. It does not always happen. It probably happens maybe a third of the time. But from here, another walk, walk takes the followers over. That's the path. Nice round path with my lead. We go walk, walk. <sighs> Let's go from the slide, from the slide. That's gonna get us there. We go rock, step, from the slide, rock, step, take her under, set up the window, walk, walk, side, step, and walk, walk. From here, we're back to that underhand shake grip, top hand on top for the leader. We're gonna head this way with the lead. We wanna allow for the rock step, rock, step, both hands over. Now from here, we can go rock, step, and this is what I, what do we call this? Sunshine, sunshine around the world, sunshine, sunshine, and rock step, and we're back to the beginning. Let's do the whole thing from the side, then we'll try to reverse side for you. And if we have any live questions, we will take them then. So we have our basic rock step. There's our slide. 
create a window for the followers. Leaders go through and back, sidestep, rock, 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 step, take her through. There's our sunshine. Let's try it all on the other side. There was sunshine the last two days, not today though. So basic, passing each other. There is our slide. Create the window. Leaders go through. Duck yourself for your tabletop. Rock, step, walk, walk. And there's our sunshine and off we go. Any questions from our live feed folks? Awesome, so let's cover, uh, oh, shall we do it to music? Shall we do it to music? Let's demo it once, then we'll do it to music, and then I'll share some cool stuff with you, and then we'll be out. This is intermediate country swing. So demo of everything we've done. We have our basic, we have our slide to the shadow walk around where the leaders turn. Then we use our basic and our slide for the followers turn to set this up tabletop underneath rock step walk walk to our sunshine. Now, just in fairness, there is a, a more advanced version of the tabletop and this is the way I like to teach things. I like to keep you honest as leaders and followers, meaning we use this position here, right? And sometimes the follower heads through this way and we get to that. And sometimes the follower goes that way. Why do I like to teach two things that are confusing? Because that's a good branch in the road. Whereas the leader, if I'm good at communicating both sides, I'm gonna be really strong in both of them. As the follower, you might not know every move there is, but you wanna know both different possibilities and what you need to pay attention to. And the key for the follower is whoosh, bungee cord, retract that elbow, get connected so you don't end up cool beans. All right, let's try it all to music. Hopefully you don't mess up. Now into the tabletop. One more time. Thank you, Miss Emily, for the music. So that is our intermediate country swing lesson. If you guys want more cool country dance stuff, we run a bunch of different websites for all kinds of dancers. And the one related to you, if you're watching this video, is countrydanceonline.com. That's countrydanceonline.com. Go there, you can sign up, enter your email address, you can get a free membership to our site. Free membership doesn't include everything, but it includes 31 videos as we speak, but we have more coming on the free membership. You will also be part of our Move of the Week Club where we have thousands, over 15,000 people that get our Move of the Week every other week. So you can sign up, you'll get that for free. There's also a great resources page and in always in our videos, click the link in the description below. We put some of our cool resources there. If you're watching this live while we're on lockdown for the coronavirus, at least through the month of April, we are gonna be doing live classes two or three a night, so you can get that link below. Uh, so thanks guys, thanks Miss Megan, thanks Mr. Benjamin and Emily, and we will see you again on a dance floor soon.